Welcome to the Friday edition webcast of TheLantern.com. I'm Molly Gray. Yesterday, Time Magazine announced their top 10 college presidents, and our very own Gordon Gee topped the list as the best college president in the nation. Other top presidents include John Sexton from NYU, Mary Sue Coleman from the University of Michigan, and Michael Crow from Arizona State University. Earlier this week, 30 employees were removed from their offices in Hitchcock Hall after two women claimed that they became ill with a disease known as histoplasmosis due to a fungus in their working environment. Olga Stavridis has had part of her lung removed and says that her illness is the direct result of working in her office in Hitchcock Hall. Previously planned renovations are now being immediately undergone in the office suite. The university is investigating what might have caused the women to get sick. If you've been following the Lantern coverage, you know that recently there have been a lot of lawsuits and controversy between staffers at the university. The Board of Trustees recently approved an ombudsman position at the university to help resolve faculty conflicts before they become escalated legal battles. The mediator will serve to prevent faculty members from going to human resources, which should be a last resort. We'll now go to Zach Meisel for details about what exactly is weighing on this weekend's game against Iowa. Thanks, Molly. A birth to the Rose Bowl is on the line Saturday when Ohio State welcomes Iowa to the shoe at 3.30. Ohio State can clinch a share of the Big Ten with the victory over the Hawkeyes and can win the conference outright if they beat Iowa and Michigan in its final game. The Hawkeyes will be without starting quarterback Ricky Stanzi, who had surgery earlier in the week to repair a severely sprained ankle. The Ohio State men's basketball team moved to 2-0 Thursday with a victory over James Madison. Earlier in the week, they knocked off Alcorn State 100-60, behind Evan Turner's triple-double when he had 14 points, 17 rebounds, and 10 assists. The slate gets more difficult next week when the Buckeyes go to Madison Square Garden in New York City for the final two rounds of the 2K Coaches vs. Cancer Classic when they will face North Carolina and then the winner of Syracuse vs. California. Back to you, Molly. As you prepare for the weekend, make sure and check out thelantern.com for tips on how to have a good time and not end up with the cops. That's all we have for this week. Check out thelantern.com for coverage of the game and the weekend's events. See you next Friday.